Extra Development Association, ECTA Convention 2024, started with a barbecue cultural event and about 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Times, members and invitees were all gathered and exchanging pleasantry. Why Tanyi Teofilos Cascarino has some traditional outfit displays for sale. Again, all sides, again, all sides. Extra large day, large day, medium day, small day, baby day. Again, the BLM culture in America. Speaking to the WDC chapter president of ECTA, who doubled as a convention organizing chair, he laid out the objective of this year convention 2024. We are here this evening. Oh, Bella Minkem, uh, we're here for the uh, Esota Sons and Daughters Convention here at uh, EDA USA 2024 convention. And we are the Maryland branch chapter for the uh, DMV, so we're the ones uh, hosting, putting together this uh, wonderful uh, event. And this what uh, there have been so many cultural conventions going on here, especially though from the BLM. So what is the main purpose for organizing this convention? Well, it's about development. Development, as you know, Esota was really, really, really badly hit. I think more than uh, most of the other fundons in uh, the BLM uh, in general uh, by the crisis back home. A lot of uh, internally displaced people, a lot of, uh, you know, our own culture was secreted, as you know, and we fought for it. And so we are here to bring back the village to what it was uh, during its uh, glory days. And so we've gathered here to raise funds, to do, uh, to allow people to go back to the village but this time around a, a little bit different not like just going back to the village and just remain in the village but being in the village and remaining in the village with something productive so we're raising funds to revitalize the economy of Esota and um, you know what you know why not maybe for the entire maybe at least you know uh, everything starts from from the beginning we hope to uh, bring in uh, those skills that are uh, natural that are indigenous to our community for example we have so many rivers in in in, in Minnesota. we are talking about you know fish farming we have you know palm trees we're talking about uh, opening an uh, oil mill uh somewhere in Sorota. we're talking about providing our people real, real water because we know water is a, is a big big issue and then we're talking about building a school a school where people can come in teachers can come in and actually work and have a decent salary uh, which will be taken care of by the people here uh, in the United States and abroad in okay. general. Uh, and you say your name again was? Bella Minken. Okay, Bella Minken. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Yeah. Meanwhile, this young lady, not very familiar with the culture, yet tried to explain the reason she was there. Oh. Can you just say your name and why we are here this evening? <laughs> My name is Asan Hilda and we are here for Exalta annual event. Uh, and, and, what, we, and, and what was the, and what are the reasons why the Esota people are coming together? They are coming together for um, cultural enhancement, fundraising and uh, socialization. Yeah, you say fundraising, what kind of fundraising? Like um, raising funds to help um, the less privileged, most especially um, children that are back home, assist them with schools, needs food, clothing, and whatever, you name it. Later on at about 9 p.m., the atmosphere changed. There was a sound of the gun, signal the arrival of the phone of Esota, all the way from Cameroon. After the welcoming chanting by his notable and kinsmen, he was then ushered to his seat. And according to the form, he said he is excited to meet his people. 
à toi là qui est au To showcase the culture, the form then went out and performed a bit of a traditional dance, which was just the test of what is going to happen the next day at the convention hall. BLM people migrate to America, they are coming along with their culture and American. Being a free land, they can practice their culture freely. And this is Casa Media, and for Community News, I'm Enes Kumba. <laughs>